What's up everybody? So we're here at the testing location um, that we found online as you probably hear Libs got her Zoom class going on but um, we are really really excited to have found a location that was close by. Um, we're here at the Peachtree uh, Emergency over here in Stone Mountain but just look up uh, Peachtree Med if you need to get an exam, a COVID exam done. They do curbside so we're actually going to take our tests in the car here and um, our insurance is paying for it, so that's super dope. But um, we're excited because with the Virgin Islands, as we mentioned in the previous uh, segment, we had to get testing within five days of travel. So we're literally, today is November 18th, so we're literally five days out from our trip. So we're really excited and we know we're gonna hear good news because we're getting the rapid results and we'll get our results right in like 15 minutes. All right. Hey you guys, so I am honestly a little anxious. Um, I'm the one that leaves the house every day going to work. And so, um, of course, Babe works from home. He's at home with Libby doing her digital learning. So um, I'm just ready to get it done, get it over with, and get our results. Um, I was telling Babe, this has been kind of the most challenging part of um, this whole process is knowing that we have to get this test done and get the results and have it with us. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar or not, with, but with the uh, USBI, um, they basically um, are going to, they're having us to make sure that we keep our results with us at all time. There's also a um, form that we have to fill out online as well that we have to keep with us uh, as at all times as well. So I'm anxious, but I'm excited and I, I feel really blessed um, that we're able to um, travel after all these months and celebrate um, our 12th anniversary. Hey y'all. Hey. Hey y'all, we're, we're a little nervous. Mm -hmm. But we're just joking, there's nothing to be nervous about. But uh, we're just excited uh, that we're one step closer to our trip. All right, mm -hmm. buddy, just started. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was it to you? Uncomfortable. Last time it was uncomfortable, this time it's uncomfortable. It's not that bad. It just goes like a little bit past, like right here. But she was in and out. In and out. In and out. Good job, Good job. baby. You're doing such a great job. <laughs> Good job. You laughed? How, How was, was it? it? Uncomfortable but funny at the same time. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that was weird. Thank you. Uh, how was it? Uh, uh, weird. My eyes actually watered up a little bit. Yeah. All yeah, right. it wasn't that bad though. Just uncomfortable. Kind of. It's the um. He said handicap bag. Um. The what do you call it? The um. Tip was kind of sharp-ish. It didn't hurt or anything like that. But um. Yeah, it was. It was fine. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, now we wait. So to God be the glory, you guys. All of our tests are negative. Hallelujah. I really feel super happy because like I said, I've been the one that's been out and about at work. And so um, thank you, Jesus, as you can see right here. It's negative and it's for all of us. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is just the first sheet. So we praise God. We thank you, Lord. We will continue doing what we're doing which is masking up, socially distancing, not going in crowds, etc. So, we're on our way. All right, let's go on our trip. Alright y'all, so we almost through TSA. 
as you see, they're not playing no games <laughs> on the social distancing and all that. Everybody is, you know, pretty much following the rules. So we are really excited to make it to our destination. So much that we want to show y'all. So much that we just want. We just needed this period. We need this downtown, and uh, we're just thankful that there was a place in the Caribbean that is actually following the rules and, and keeping people safe. So. We'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Is this our road bag? No, I just want to stop. Libby is filming also. Say hi, Libby. Hi. <laughs> hi, you guys. Hi, right, you guys. Does this look like a little bit of overkill? <laughs> you can't be too safe on these planes now. <laughs> This, that was the condition in order to fly. They said we had to basically hazmat it up. So yeah. it's all good. We do have gloves, however, since we're stationary, I don't have us using them. I really got them for the airport, but yeah, yeah we was rushing and racing and getting here. Yeah, it was, it was, here by 10, 10, 10. It was a hot mess. I was just thinking how this actually has not been as. I'm, I'm not as filled with anxiousness, I guess, as maybe I thought I would be. And I think because it's very natural. You guys know that traveling is like something that we just love and enjoy so much. Yeah. And um, our airport has done a great job with putting stickers everywhere, hand sanitizers everywhere. Even when we were going through security, as soon as you leave security, there were ladies there with hand sanitizer to get to you getting on the plane we got hand sanitizer and free masks free you masks have a mask. as well so um i'm very 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 happy day what about you yeah no i'm excited um just because for one um our, and our family member reminded us of this that we kept up our our winning streaks mm -hmm. of traveling the, the yeah. week of Thanksgiving, we yeah. always travel somewhere the week of Thanksgiving for our, for our anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. So I was on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, follow us there. Uh, the link to do it is in the description below. And it pulled up a memory of our la of this time last year, and we were getting on an air yeah. airplane this mm -hmm. time last year. It was when we were headed to Paris. Yeah. So you'll probably see that video, travel video, linked up right here. <laughs> but uh, we wanted to get us some Dunkin' Donuts. Y'all know they got the impossible, the uh, Beyond. Duncan and Beyond sausage. sausage. Yes. Sandwich. But if we had stopped, we would have missed this flight. Yes, we would have. And so, yeah, we did all this uh, hard work, you know, just to get here, make sure we were safe, COVID negative, all that jazz. And uh, we made it. So I think from this point, we can pretty much breathe at this point. Yeah. Made with our mask on. <laughs> over and our I nose. <laughs> that lady reminded us put that mask over your nose and mouth because some mm -hmm. folks don't do that. So yeah. they just have it over their mouth. Anyway, uh, I got a good book. Mm -hmm. What you got to enjoy while we're yeah, uh, I brought um, two books. Let's see, my first one is Common. I'm almost finished, y'all. I have about. I don't know, maybe 50 or so pages, and then James Baldwin when I finish that. And I have this book here, Quit Like a Millionaire. And um, mm -hmm. I also got a bunch of uh, comic books, Doctor Strange, uh, Black Panther, so. Yeah, Libby has her books as well. Yes. Yeah, Libby, you got anything? anything? Libby, you have anything you want to say? <laughs> I want to say I do not like wearing this shit. <laughs> I know, it's just temporary. We're not gonna have these on the entire trip, just the entire flight. Yeah. So, but we will be matched up the entire trip. So. Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. This is a pretty light flight, by the way. Yeah. Normally, um, for uh, Thanksgiving, it's crazy here. Pack, 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 pack. But they packed. have the middle seats are all empty. Yeah. You know, just for us, it's three of us, so ours is not that way. And then there's a couple right here, no one sitting in the seat, so they're by each other, and then it's an empty seat. So. Yeah. In front of us, behind us too. There's a lot of empty seats. Yeah, a lot of empty seats. Oh, I didn't realize that. So it is important to, to know, guys. For those of you guys wondering, hey, y'all being safe? Is it safe to travel? Blah blah blah. Domestically within the United States, no, it's not. Okay. It's not recommended to to do a lot of moving around. But in the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, they actually have like a thousand cases on the entire island. So it's actually safer to be there 
than here <laughs> in Georgia. How many people did you say was in the US right now? Less than, a, it's like a thousand cases. Oh, okay, yeah. That much I remember. Cute, cute. But anyway. So we don't want to give y'all, you know, make y'all think, but no, yeah. we did our research. We did our research. Need That's all y'all need to know. We did our research. Less than 1%, I do know that much. Anyways, y'all, uh, we're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy our flight. Yeah, Libby has the movie already on rotation. That's yeah, the one thing Lee. she loves about Delta. Y'all know we are, we love us in Southwest, but Southwest don't go to the Virgin Islands. They don't. So we're on Delta, and every time we take Delta, which we enjoy as well, Libby is so excited because they're, um, they have the, yeah, they have the movies. Yeah. They aren't gonna be serving any food, so we did, um, Make sandwiches. Yeah, and when they gave us water, and I just asked for some water. Yeah, so. Alright, Joe, we'll see y'all later. Alright, bye y'all. Look, this is so cool. And they look real and white. I like how they have the bags up and we got water. Very nice. I'm, I'm really impressed. I believe how gorgeous it looks here. Wow. Liberty is, I know she's ready to start making some sand castles. <laughs> we can already tell we're going to be back just off of Yeah, we haven't even got the plane yet, but just coming in, y'all, was so gorgeous. I was telling Babe, it reminds me of certain parts of it of Africa when we were in Ghana. Um, so we're like so excited to be here. Making our way to baggage claim. They have a different process here because of everything going on with COVID. So we got all our paperwork, everything that we need to show uh, that we're good to go to enter the country. And um, it's a really warm, what? It is very 80 warm. degrees. With a light breeze. I can just see, uh, just. I, I just can't wait for that coconut. That's all I'm gonna I say. Know, babe. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Y'all look at me. She over here vlogging herself. <laughs> Y'all, it is so beautiful here. Oh my goodness. Out the form um, that has our negative COVID test. The lady right here is collecting in the kind of envelope, as well as some paperwork we had to uh, fill out online. So Dave's about to show it. They are not playing, and we love it. That's why we're here. All right, y'all, so we are hungry. We're ready to go have some fun. Um, we rented a car. We decided to do a rental car versus taxis just because a lot of people were telling us that that's probably the best way to move around. So we used our little AAA discount. We found a car for about $50 a day. Funny thing that I don't know if we mentioned this already, but they drive on the left side of the road here in the Virgin Islands. So that's going to be quite the experience for your boy, but I think, I think we'll be all right. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I'm sorry, one more thing. Y'all see the shirt I got on? This is our culturally responsive. See the jean I made? Let me know in the comments below if you know what this means, by the way. But anyways, this is our clothing line. Please be sure to support. If you appreciate the content we're throwing up, we don't we don't ask much. So if you like the gear, just check and take a look at our gear. The link in the description box will take you to our clothing website. It's awesome, it's so comfortable, breathable down here, especially in this hot weather. So, uh, yeah, so link to do it. Next Check it out. time on Virgin Island Paradise. Hey, Isa. Oh, you saw us? Yeah, Where were you there? I, I, I passed. Roti. That looks really Roti. good. Roti. Previously on Virgin Island Paradise. At this point, we can pretty much breathe at this point. Yeah. You know? Made with our mask on.
All right, so the time now, I don't know if this is accurate, but I believe it's about 4.13, 4.13 p.m. Uh, it's a really, really nice breeze right now. The sun is kind of going down a little bit, of course, because of daylight savings. Um, we're waiting on our shuttle because the particular rental that rental company we went through, we went through uh, Dollar Thrifty, and they're located off, off site. So the shuttle's gonna come pick us up, take us to the rental car place, and then we're gonna get our car. Um, the lady told us that they only had one available and the person just brought the car back. So um, part of me was like, look, we'll just take it as is. But the lady was like, no, we gotta clean it and not forget we live in a COVID-19 society. So uh, we're like, yeah, go ahead and clean it, make sure it's good. We're still gonna clean it anyway. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is probably see where our hotel is. This is going to be our first time driving internationally. The fact that it's, uh, I'm not nervous, sweetie, only for the fact that we drive on the left side of the road. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a little different, but the brain will, ad uh, will adapt, right? They call it the hedonic treadmill, right? So we'll figure it out. I don't know which vegan spot we're going to stop off at, but we have a list of them. So excited for you guys to see that. So here is our rental right here. Babe is loading up the luggage. <laughs> yeah, we got like a little free upgrade, y'all. Y'all know we only do the economy. We were just talking about uh, telling what you were saying about the last person that was there. Yeah, the, the last person, it was a gentleman telling me that he, they, this is the car that they got right here. And it's his Nissan, what is it? It's Nissan Kicks. And he was saying basically that he wished they had gotten a Jeep, but there ain't no Jeep in sight. So the Lord will help us up these hills. Yeah, it's, a little di it's a little different being on the other side of the road, but um, it's, not, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Just going very slow. That's what our driver said. You think you can do this, sweetie? Mm-hmm, I want to. I want to drive all <laughs> Gas is very expensive here. Uh, 314 a gallon. Now, one thing they said that was interesting, I didn't tell you this, you know, I was inside getting mm -hmm. the car. Um, so they give you the car on full, so you don't have to worry about um, buying gas, and they estimate how much four days worth of gas is gonna be. And then if you go over that, let's say we, if we get it, we bring it back at a half a tank, she said, then we just had to pay $2.99 a gallon. So they already kind of prepay that uh, in the estimate. So, yeah, not too bad at all. We got a really good price for it. I literally booked this the night, one o'clock in the morning, couldn't sleep because we're all, I'm always excited, my babe. We're all the same way. We just get mm -hmm. super excited mm -hmm. before our trip. And uh, I said, let me go here and see, try to book because if we really, if we, as you probably are seeing now, if we had taken a taxi, it, it would have, we would not have saved. It's just better to just have driven. Like the difference in price, cause it's 50 something dollars a day, $51 a day. And we get to really move around. We don't have to wait for a taxi or worry about them gouging us cause it's late or whatever. We can hop in, hop out the car, you know, get some good, you know, just walking and talking and all that. So I'm actually glad we drove. I was just nervous because of the whole driving on the other side of the road. It's Mountain Liberty. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is spectacular. Spectacular. This reminds me of Nigeria. Oh, God. Oh my goodness. Really, Lynn? Wow. Okay, Virgin Islands. Okay, Virgin Islands. Who got the lights on? Whoa! Oh my goodness, babe. This rest. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh, sweet. Wow. Wow, y'all. I can see all the kitties from up here. You can. Wow. This is so beautiful. Can y'all imagine in the morning waking up? What's that? Can you imagine in the morning waking up? I can. Me? Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Wow. Wow. I am. 
we do, we, we do we got here. We just got here. I'm gonna come back. All right. Yeah, very nice. Got a little stove here, by the way. I don't know if I showed you this. Refrigerator, microwave. We got our little snacky snack. Your Uber Eats driver. <laughs> here to deliver some delicious food for you. I will say I am thoroughly impressed with this food here. This is at the hotel. This is the avocado toast. Ooh, we're gonna close this out as soon as y'all get a look at this here. Oh, oh it looks good. What's on top of there, baby? It smells good. What is that? Oh, oh my god. I don't know what it is. It smells good. It's deliciousness and then check this pizza out. This is all here. Bam. Oh, oh vegan. Vegan. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this first day here in the Virgin Islands. Can't wait for you guys to see tomorrow. It's amazing, we're super tired, but we are having a blast already. Already just feeling relaxed. There was a bunch of people at the pool. I was socially distanced from them. That's where our food, um, the restaurant was. But um, I can tell it's just gonna be dope. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Did you say you are gonna move here? Why do you wanna move here? Better. Better uh, here than Atlanta. Oh, it is nice here, isn't it? It's so much better than Atlanta. So much better. Yeah, how and I want to adopt two chicks. I already have two pockets ready for them. See? Okay. <laughs> cool. Love you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Marvin. And Amber. Thank you. Uh -huh. And Liberty. And, and with we're with the family. The family. Oh. All right, y'all, we're starting our morning or afternoon at this point mm -hmm. um, here from sunny Virgin Island, St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. It's about 80-ish degrees already. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah good to be here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but we'll get, a, we'll get a better view in a minute. So basically, we're going to start our day by going to get some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Where's Liv? There you are. By going to get some breakfast and then we're gonna go into downtown St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna oh show y'all the sights and sounds. The hotel is not playing games as you see here. They got signs everywhere. And um, we appreciate that. Let's just know that we made a really good choice on this place and mm -hmm. we will definitely, definitely be back. Definitely be back. Okay. I wanna head down to you. Oh, look at the cactus. The cactus. Oh, oh more. Oh, cactus. Whoa. Hey, Kitty. Oh, meow. Meow. Oh, another one. Meow. Come here, Kitty. This is really nice. And it's so quiet right now. It's just incredibly quiet. It is. Incredibly quiet. Liberty is determined to, to yeah. borrow uh, a chicken, for, a rooster from here. Adopt it, y'all. Yeah, I would either have a chicken or, well, basically mostly a, ki a chicken, and I may get a kitty, maybe. But I'm just really, my eyes are focused on chickens. Well, we, I want to get two chicken babies. Well, we did tell her, you know, they might misconstrue it as stuff. So we just want to maybe just enjoy it, pet it a little bit, maybe feed it. And then let it enjoy itself because you probably got cousins here and everything. You don't want to take them from their cousins, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, so beautiful, beautiful view. We're staying again in the Hilltop Villas at Bluebeard's Castle. Mm -hmm. We'll link it here. Here's our uh, our car. Nissan Kick. Nice little mid. Is this an SUV? Is this what you consider this? A mid range? SUV? What do SUV stand hot. for, babe? I don't know. It's already done hot out here. All right, y'all. I don't think I'll ever get used to driving on a mountain. And we always do that whenever we go into Tennessee. And then to add insult to injury, we have to drive on the left side of the road here. Oh, this is a, a little nerve wracking, but talking is making me feel a lot better. But we are pretty high up. Our ears popped when we were coming up to this restaurant. And uh, 
this is this is fun. This is this is living life for a living, right? Amen. Oh look, they got plantain chips. Man, if they have some Ben and Jerry's non-dairy, <laughs> it's going down. Tell me they got the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy. Come on, come on, come on. Now y'all, this ain't, it might be vegan, but it ain't something you want to be eating every day. But look, they got the Ben and Jerry's in the joint. The non-dairy is the one we looking for, and I don't see it. They got our bands, so we can do waffles at times. Oh yeah. Oh, they got monosaurs. They do. Oh. Oh. You can't go and chop. Oh, they got the whole uh, vegan uh, veggie breakfast sandwich. Oh, look, right here's Bianca. So, y'all, I pride myself in doing a pretty good job at providing food for my family. And so, I got the snacks, I got the, the peanut butter, got the, the plastic knives, and everything, y'all. But I left the bread in the refrigerator. I, was it last? No, it was this morning. Cause I the, the purpose for me bringing the um, bread with the peanut butter, y'all, was I was like, okay, if we wake up and there's no food readily available, bam, we can just get us, you know, uh, a, a peanut butter sandwich, or we can just, you know, get one slice of bread, put peanut butter on it, and, and call it a day. Wake up, peanut butter, no bread. Mm. So this is our bread of choice. We love this bread, and so here it is, right here. We get some. This oh, is the day. Killer bread, y'all. It's really good. So now we just gotta see which one we wanna pick. This is power seed. Sweet with organic fruit juice. Mm -hmm. I think normally you get the good good seed, I think. Yeah, we do get this one. I was just telling Dave it's really cool because this market right here has everything that you could get like at Sprouts or even Whole Foods. And we know this is like US as well. But the fact that it's an island and so beautiful, it's just like wow, you know. The family O. This was like literally the family O. All right, we have more water. Oh, yeah. Are these the cheaper waters? Um, these those are the same price as Okay. So they are the cheaper. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, we had to get some water, make sure we have everything we need while we're moving about. I love the pictures y'all had that snowman with the mask on. <laughs> love it, love it. That is funny. All right, so we got we got some water and we got some bread. Yep, we got some brush, some brush, babe. We got some brush, <laughs> some brush. That's the That's inside good. joke, y'all from Ghana. <laughs> How much was this for? Twelve, twelve dollars for everything. Twelve dollars for some for water and bread. God, we please. got the expensive bread, y'all. It's good though, and it lasts. I want to Oh, oh, sorry. No, don't be, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Whatever you remember in Ghana when you were cheeky. Uh-huh. they like, uh, please let us eat. Hi y'all. We finna see if they have some vegan ice cream. Hello. Uh, Sherbert or something. Hello, my dad. We want some ice cream. We want some, some cream without the cream. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Oh, uh, I got a souvenir. Oh, that's pretty. Really pretty. Libby, what you think of the doll? Oh, that's cute. I like the hair. I like the mermaid. Ma'am? Where y'all coming from? Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And the house. Which yes, one? Yes, ma'am. And, um, I don't know. Which one you like, mama? I like the blue. With the blue dress, huh? Yeah. So we are from Great Time so far. I see you guys. And Isa? Yes. Oh, you saw us? Yes, I Where saw. were you at? I, I, I passed at the street, so oh. I saw you. Oh, wow. Oh, that's crazy. Look, Libby, you want to check it out and see if you want it? Yes. You like it? Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. How much is it? Fifteen. What? Uh, this is the first time you have Yes, ma'am. We have people to have you with us. We, like, we have people to have you with us. Say that one more time. We're happy to have you with us. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Ginger. Yeah. Like you shred the ginger. Uh-huh. You let the water boil. You wash it. And you put it in the pot and turn off the stove and cover it. And it's there. Oh. And there's... My nails. Okay. I like these. 
I like oh, these little hanging ones. Can you give me a good deal for these? Right. I got two pairs of circles that are coming. Uh, right there, John. I got this little African doll with the drift of the St. Thomas. Yeah, I like them. Thank you. Okay. All right, y'all. Where are live? Right here. Her and Takwi. Takwi's my dog. Where are you? Oh, I love your dog. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we, uh, we just found a little corridor here. Yeah. Um, we just turned off the beaten path here. So it's just, uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Cuba, huh? It does. I agree. <laughs> just uh, to let you guys know, we are in the um, historic oh. district of Charlotte Amelie, Amelie, I think is how you pronounce it, which is the capital of St. Thomas. Yep. So that's where we are, and it is beautiful. The architecture is gorgeous here, you all. They have such beautiful doors and structures and the colors, and yeah. like they said, it will remind you of like being in Cuba or some type of this right here definitely gives me cute Cuba vibes. Yeah. And a lot of the businesses are, are still are still closed, but the person in our hotel told us that if we were if we were here prior to COVID, mm -hmm. it's like really jumping. Like it's a lot of stuff here. So that's a lot of stuff to do that's open. This yeah. is interesting. I know this was good. on Virgin Island Paradise. Say, say what's up, why? ever been on a cruise you know it's kind of similar it's nice but mm -mm. we want to move like the locals you're, yes, you're easy on the eyes thank you ah geez liver stop hating <laughs> all right y'all let's let's let me do <laughs> don't be a hater oh that's a lady oh that's, we got a souvenir from here yesterday hello madam madam Hello, remember us from yesterday. Good to see you. Bye. All right. So we think we might have found a winner. Yeah. Luciano's house, Caribbean restaurant. It might be Aitala. I hope it's Aitala. Aitala is Vital. <laughs> I'm Le hungry. Liberty was taking a little nap. A little nap. Wash your feet. Right. Maybe we got some. Maybe we got some we can rock with. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Swing and a miss. All right. We're trying not to go back to just go back to Isa. This is we want to show a little bit of diversity and some of the food options. But they're closed down. So. Oh yeah. Lock. Aww. We have to go back to Isa vegan. Oh, well, you ain't got a bit yet. Look, you ain't got to beg me to go. Aww. Uh, I'm ready to go. It was so good, y'all. Yeah, it no is. Big deal. They have a variety of on their menu, as we mentioned before, so it's, it's a win for us. What do you say? It's a win for us. Okay. You guys are enjoying yourself. Mm -hmm. Happy Thanksgiving Happy in Thanksgiving. advance. Family O. Uh oh. Uh, look, a pigeon. At least it's not a, a rooster. Respect. 
what I don't know what he's saying, but he sound he upset at somebody. <laughs> I wonder what language do they speak here, I wonder. Saint Thomason. Some patois, some uh pigeon English. Yeah. And just English. Okay. I don't know what it's called. What about Saint Thomas? Alright y'all, we'll check in in a moment. Alright y'all, so we're still looking. They told us to go find the Rastaman. So we find the Rastaman, they'll be able to tell us where to find the vegan food. So let's keep it going. Okay. Okay, thank you. the Rast if the Rastas don't know if the Rastas don't know where to find vegan food, we in trouble. We're in big trouble. How about we're about to go back to Eyes of Vegan because all the vegan spots here seem to be closed, but they're open. And today of all days is Vegan International Day. So that's crazy. We'll see. We're trying to find where our next uh, vegan, eating and, uh, vegan eating Virgin Islands is going to be. <laughs> but the restaurant is closed. Yeah. So we think it's another one in the area. So we will uh, try to see if we can get it. Get, get some good vegan grub here. It's a Haitian spot right here. Looks like they might have some juices, but no, nothing vegan. And here's Queen Bee, a thousand pounders coming up on us, so we're gonna see if we can find something there. Oh yeah, Queen Bee, a thousand pounders. Okay, the journey continues. Okay, so I'm not gonna open this as yet, okay. since that you're still doing your video. Oh, yeah, man. Now, the next way, is this little gizmo here look like a little sword in a way but what we will do we'll take off the crown of the coconut this is called the crown like crown like on your crown of your head yeah man you're a king and you could just oh wow and then when you put this in here sometimes you send water all of it that's what turn up the black oh wow oh wow and you will just do it simple like this By doing this, sometimes you get to know if it have jelly inside because if you have enough jelly, you're gonna show on this. Mm. So you can tell. Sometimes I would eat it out. <laughs> so here you have one unique hole right there and the water is inside. So this one for the little one, mm. you could open Thank that. Thank you, sir. And then we're gonna give her this one. Okay, oh, okay. Got it. Oh, that was this my job. There you go. There you go, kitty. Always you and the coconut. Put it in your mouth. And the coconut water is very healthy. It tastes yummy. It tastes yummy, yeah. Oh, wow. We, saw, we did a movie in Ghana where she was drinking on the, the same, a same coconut. Yeah. Yeah, we we do it on YouTube. Okay. So, so she was a little she was a little one. Now she's Ooh, bigger. Yummy. So she have a second one. There's a second one. Let's go. Every, yes, every time you go step by step. Yes, sir. Okay, okay so this one now, as you notice I didn't take off the crown because we going from this side. This is the more mature side. Okay. This is the less mature side. That's why I hope you did. So we just knock out this piece. Wow, I get that all the time. Like champagne. I get that all the time. Yeah, respect. Mommy, can you help me out? I might have to start to sell showers with coconut water. Wow, look at that. Coconut water shower. Alright, we good. Thank you. Okay, one more time. Elroy Allen. Elroy Allen. Alias Coconut Man. Oh, all man. natural. And what's the address here that people can find you? Um, we at um, Fort Milliner Corner. Fort Milliner Corner. Corner okay. Yes, and this is where we have KFC. We have the Pizza Hut, okay. and we have the car dealer right there. Once they look for KFC, the main area is called Tutu. Tutu. Okay. Yes. I saw that. Tutu. That's where the Tutu Mall is, right up there. Uh -huh. Tutu Shopping Mall. Okay. So, but they, they call it Fort Milliner Shopping Center, which is there that just got burned down. Okay. So we just call this Fort Milliner Corner. 
Okay. So if anybody coming into the Tutu area, yeah. we have the food stand here. Right. The vegetable food stand. Right. And I'm right there. We have two coconut guys here. Me and the one over there. Okay. Now this one is the all natural. Okay. <laughs> we like you better. You're nicer. Yes, all natural. We like it natural. We don't want nothing in it. All right. Respect. All right, all right. All right. We just got us some fresh coconuts. Battery on our good camera died. It's all good. That's a great thing about iPhone 4K. But um, we're back on the road to go get us some food. Mm -hmm. Previously on Virgin Island Paradise. I pride myself in doing a pretty good job at providing food for my family. Ginger? Yeah. Make it tread the ginger? Uh-huh. It's, it's a little different being on the other side of the road. We are still, um, today we are actually at Isa Vegan. I hope I'm saying it right. We'll confirm in a little bit. But you guys, this is the place that we went to yesterday and we had some delicious, delicious food, vegan food. And so we're here to talk with the owners today, Kadeem and Vanessa. Um, also, you guys, we did a vegan eating episode here. So you guys can check it out right here. Um, so you can see some of the delicious yumminess and we're going to show you guys some of the food we're going to have for today as well so we'll be checking out checking back with you guys in just a moment Bye. you guys so we have our big breakfast um we have some potatoes some fresh fruit look at these pancakes y'all and some tofu scramble oh my goodness i can't wait to dive in liberty has like a smaller version that they made for her um and then we have some maple syrup right here so we are about ready to dive in. We're also gonna get some beverage. So yesterday we tried some of this pineapple um, uh, turmeric or tamarind. Pineapple turmeric. Turmeric, okay. Um, juice, it was so good. So Libby and Babe are gonna get that again. And then I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get some uh, lemonade ginger beverage. Yeah, so. Ooh, how you doing? Yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, good morning, everybody. This is Marvin. Amber and... And we're with the family O. So we have we are sitting right now with the two owners of Isa Vegan. Isa Vegan. Isa Vegan, Mr. Kadeem and Miss Vanessa. How are you guys doing this morning? We're doing good. Another day of life. Another day of life, respect. So it's a beautiful morning here in St. sunny St. Thomas, and we wanted to pull them for a moment just to talk about the concept behind this wonderful restaurant, Eyes of Vegan. As you guys see, we have our food here. I'm about to tear that up in a little bit, but we really wanted to hear their story, and, and it's just been amazing. So, guys, tell us a little bit about the restaurant and the concept and everything about how you guys got started. Um, well, Eyes of Vegan was started actually in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, while I was truck driving, I came up with the concept. Um, I'm a chef. I've been cooking for about since I was. 13. Wow. Yeah. So, um, but I recently went vegan in 2000. And it was 2015. About five years. Wow. Um, and I actually got my business license up there in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, bought a bunch of equipment, thousand dollars of equipment, and then the pandemic hit. Uh, um, so I was like, what should I do? Should I start it? Should I not? And then I just we just came up with the idea. Let's go back home to the Virgin Islands and let's give them the Eyes of Vegan experience first. Let's start there, you know? So we came down here, um, started the business out of our house, doing just deliveries, and everybody loved it so much. We was like, man, we need to expand. We need a location, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's what we did. I love Everything it. just came cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. And what about the name, Eyes of Vegan? Where did that come from? Like, what does it mean? I, 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 just, I was just writing down a bunch of names, being creative, you know? Yeah. Um, and that was one, in the islands we say, in our salon we say Aiza, like like I is, I'm trying to say I is, or I am. Uh, but with our broken English, it's like, you might say um, Aiza star. 
Instead of saying, I am a star, we say, I is a star. Um, I is the fastest. Uh, you know what I mean? So I was like, I is a vegan. That's like in my accent, how we talk. So I had to figure out a way how to write it and make it look appealing. Yeah. And I just came up with that, that way of writing it. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So since the pandemic has began, have you guys noticed you know, more and more people that may not traditionally have been vegan give you guys a yes. try. Like, what's the mixture of you guys' uh, customer base? Um, well, I get a lot of uh, non vegans. Um, I do get a lot of vegans as well. Um, so, the the customers, um, they really love that the fact that we have a lengthy menu. Um, so, they're open to try different things. A lot of our things on the menu um, is on a, on a, in a normal restaurant. So we have quesadillas, we have tacos. So it's not something that they're not familiar with. It's just, okay, now you guys, you guys don't have meat. Okay, well, let me try that. Um, so I have that and I also have transitioning vegans. I also have gluten-free. I also have, you know, just, you know, some are plant-based. So, and we can give, give it to all um, of our customers. So. We have a very good um, menu for any customer that comes in. Um, so we love the fact that we have a lengthy menu. A lot of customers come every day wow. <laughs> because they want to try new things every day, um, which I love. Um, and so we have a we have a very good strong customer base, um, and then we also deliver around the island. Wow. So, so yeah. they're they're. Uh, they don't do delivery like Uber Eats out here. They call right. it Island Direct out here. Right. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we're surrounded by all this beautiful, lush nature. Do you guys source locally or yes. do you bring it in? How do you guys get the food in? Um, we go to um, the local vendors. vendors. Um, there's a spot in Florida. That's where the main local farm is. Yeah. We try to get all our greens and stuff from there. Mm -hmm. um, there's also different vendors on the side of the road who sell um, the mangoes and pineapples and stuff on different islands like Dominica. Oh, wow. and so you can see stuff. So we try to source from communities. Right. I love that. I love yeah, that. We rarely go in the stores for produce. Mm -hmm. We, if we have to, we will. But yeah. that's not that's not our main focus. Our main focus is to use everything homegrown. Homegrown. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I love it. And I think that, you know, it's important, especially with everything going on in the pandemic and, and just Corona and all that, we know that it's a very serious illness and there's no one shot cure for it all. At least we're not going to be in line when the vaccine drops. But we believe that, you know, doing as much as eating as natural as possible, yeah. keeping that immune system boosted yeah. up, things right. of that nature, that's what you can do in the natural for your body right. to keep yourself as healthy, as alkaline as possible. Yeah. So like kind of walk, walk us through what, if, if somebody was to come here for the first time, what are some of the main things like each per a person should definitely try when they come visit Isaac B? Um, bowls, bowls, yeah, bowls are very amazing because it's, it's like everything in one. Okay. You get to taste everything. Um, yes, yeah, um, When it comes to health, I like to push the mushrooms for um, the vitamin D. Okay. So we don't get that much sunlight. Yeah. yeah that vitamin D from the mushrooms is amazing. Okay. Um, if you're, a first, if you're like a meat eater and things, we try to push things that you're familiar with, like Alfredo, yeah. on the Mexican side of the menu. Okay. Stuff like a burger, everybody likes it. Everybody yeah, likes it. Yeah, and our burgers from scratch. Everything we make from scratch. Wow, everything from scratch. The sauces, the veggie nades, we make from scratch. The bread, wow. the burgers, yeah. we try to make everything. I love that, I love that, I love that. Well, last question for you, and I don't know if Babe has a question for you guys, but you know, what is what is something that what is something that you guys have learned during this during this pandemic as it relates to how to run your, your business moving forward? Uh, what are some things that you picked up that you just really gonna realize like, when this thing clears up and everybody sees this video and they just bum rush you guys? Like, what are some things that you guys really have learned from this period? Um. Well. Well, our initial idea was to do a takeout, not really thinking about COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I, I don't think it will slow us down. Mm -hmm. It will always make us faster. It, as you know, nothing will be become normal. Mm -hmm. This is the new normal. Yeah. Um, so the 
the the takeout and the um you know just a couple of chairs like mm -hmm. our deck is good enough for mm -hmm. covid our mm -hmm. deck is good enough for you know you know just the the ambiance right. as well right. um and then also with the with the with the covid you know going on um it's not going to hurt us at all we're going to be just fine um we've been doing really good each day um and our customers love us we have a lot of You guys, a fun fact that we talk about off camera is that you all built this mm -hmm. from from scratch. Yes. Me and tell us about the story. Yeah. Me, my cousins, and my father, we all wow. built it. Amazing. How long did it take for you all to build it? One month. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and I mean, it's just a sturdy. I mean, it's it's just an amazing structure mm -hmm. here, right here at a very busy intersection. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I'm truly impressed about just how. You know, especially as we're moving forward and just realizing the importance of black businesses and the, cost effectiveness, and cost mm -hmm. effectiveness, yeah. the importance of trying to do as much do for self as possible. Yeah. The fact that you guys picked up from Atlanta, Georgia, yeah. which is our hometown at this point, yeah. moved on down to the Virgin Islands, started, you know, you didn't let the pandemic slow you down. Yeah. It, made, it, made, it made you guys speed up exactly. and, mm -hmm. and take that leap into entrepreneurship. So right. we like, we have so much respect, respect. for that. Yeah. We've been talking off camera how we need to get a place out here because yeah. this is it's the yeah. islands, it, but it's still that, um, it's still yeah. America. So you yeah. still have that support system probably yeah. to small business yeah. loans yeah. if possible. We still have that, yeah. We still have all of that here in the Virgin Islands. So yeah. we're going to cut out at this point, <laughs> but we want to, to let you guys know, like, how can people find you guys? Facebook, um, Instagram, Eyes of Vegan, that's E-Y-E-Z-A. Um, you can also email us if you have any questions or if you're on island and you want catering services. Um, that is E-Y-E-Z-A vegan at gmail.com. Um, what else? Google. That's all, all our platforms. Google, Google, Google. <laughs> I was going to say all Instagram as well? Yeah. Instagram as well. That's how we found you. That's all we found. Instagram. Yeah. Respect. Everything is at Eyes of Vegan. At, at Eyes of Vegan. Vegan. Okay, we'll link it in the description box below, y'all. And please be sure to check them out. And if you stop by, let them know that the family O sent you. These are the owners. They're the lovely owners. Nadeem and Vanessa, we appreciate you guys' time. You. Be sure to check them out. The link to do is in the description box below. And if you're enjoying this amazing breakfast and if you're going to support, let us know in the comments below. And until the next video, this is Marvin. Amber and, and, and we're with, with the, the family. family so we just had a great breakfast and um, we are headed to Koki Beach. That was recommended to us uh, by one of the co-owners of uh, Eyes of Vegan. Please make sure y'all check them out. It's amazing. Oh, look at this picture right here, man. Wow. All right, so anyways, yeah, we are um, really enjoying our time here. Um, this place is just amazing. I mean, Black Lives Matter right here. I mean, look at the art, culture. It's a mixture of like the uh, indigenous, African, um, the Caribbean, of course, and um, it's still, it's still America. It's still America, though. They just call this, uh, what, oh, fresh fruit, fresh fruit. Get a drama as a toy for Christmas. Was one of the greatest innovators. here at Koki Beach. It's about uh, five dollars to park, but it's a free beach to take park. And um, we were told that this beach is a, has a lot more culture to it. You know, it's not as touristy, so you see more uh, of the people that actually live here on the island. So I'm excited. And, uh, oh man. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at this big, I mean, just 
Amazing. Amazing. This is the water I was looking for right here. Beautiful. How you doing, little mermaid? mermaid? <laughs> Mommy, how you doing? I am wonderful. This is so amazing. Woo, amazing. How are you, handsome? Man, I cannot complain. I just, we seeing fish everywhere. Yeah. I mean, just, just amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> so, this is a, uh, I really don't know what to say, but I will say that we needed this. Mm -hmm. We highly recommend we try to make it to somewhere tropical just for just your peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Look, saltiness in your mouth. Oh. Get that salt in <laughs> Good for your skin. <laughs> but, uh, uh oh. Let me come up. Let me come up. Hey. Anyways, uh, we just recommend just getting out here. I mean, it's just, you know, we, we stress, we tired, we, we sick of all this stuff going on in the world, this unrest, all of that. So, we control what we can control. And what we could control is making our way out here to the to the Virgin Islands mm -hmm. to enjoy God's creation. Yeah. And uh, get some sun, get some fun, and also do a little swimming. Let me see, baby. Look at you, gorgeous. How you enjoying yourself, gorgeous? Amazing. <laughs> what does that mean, amazing? It means the best time of my life. It's like this water is so clear. It's so what? Clear and... Um, <laughs> <I'm bloody. laughs> What's up, guys? To you. I know, I know. I owe, we owe you money. We know, we know. What comes after 1,010? 1,010. No, what comes after 1,010? 1,011. What, what's the last number after that? So some funny things that have happened so far. Come on in, baby. A quadrillion. You owe me I bet. Uh, 3,000. Wait, no. Uh, 1,026,100. Okay, so some funny things that have happened so far. I've been offered marijuana three times. That always happens when we come to like the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> where where we's at. <laughs> the guy held up like a little lighter symbol. Uh, and, then, and then when we were at uh, the vegan spot, somebody came up to me and was like, you want that at the bottom? You want, not the one you smoke. He was good. He was telling me, he was like, not the one you smoke. The one you eat. The one you eat. I was like, nah, man, I'm good, brother. I'm good. Libby, say hi. Say, say what's up, why? You know, the Virgin Islands might as well be Jamaica. It might as well be Jamaica. I mean, all of this here in the Caribbean is just amazing. Awesome. You got me, babe. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Y'all, this is such a blessing. We are so, so blessed and happy that we were able to come here. Oh, baby, you moving back? I am. Are you moving? I'll go back. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Hold Libby, because I know oh, I, I got the baby. I got the baby. Oh, okay. We're not that far. Okay. Y'all, yeah. it's been so many tropical fish swimming around us and stuff. Okay, yeah. go so for it. Y'all, I'm just to tripping with my phone right now. I'm going to put my phone on. I'll be back. All right, so I'll be back, too. Okay. Honey, hook. I don't know what time it is. Oh, actually, it's about 1 o'clock. Oh, wow. 1 o'clock. Sun's not out. You would think it'd be beating down hot. But it's not. It's just really cool down. Really comfortable. Roosters are everywhere. Iguanas are everywhere. Y'all probably just saw. And uh, this is just uh, this is a really, really dope place to be. It is. Yeah, this is some good exercise. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Swimming. Swimming, yeah. Get good exercise. Full body. But from here, I don't know what we're going to do next, but we probably. It's at Mountain Oh, yeah, we may make our way to Mountain Top. We definitely got to go back, get cleaned back up. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll try to have dinner um, somewhere else so you guys can see that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is just amazing. It's hard to All right, y'all. It's all kind of honking, just like when we were in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. But uh, had a blast at the beach. We did. Now we're headed to go uh, for lunch. 
and we're gonna hopefully stop at this uh, market I see we saw some fresh fruit hopefully we get to enjoy some of that hopefully we see it because we're taking the same way down that we came up mm -hmm. this is a tiny island by the way so our, our trip to the restaurant is 20 minutes and that's basically gonna take us from one end of the island oh there it is there it is oh man y'all are in for a treat yes Mm -hmm. All right, where can I park? Who you out there? Maybe it looks like right. Um, right. Maybe here at the Pizza Hut. All right. Is it Pizza Hut? No, not Pizza Hut. I'm beside it. Yo, we got the coconuts. Coconuts. Let's go. Uh oh. That was just damn bad. Uh -huh. oh, look at the pineapple. Uh -huh. mm. Right, so. Wow, look at the avocados. Yeah, those avocados are huge. Look at the avocado big as my head and that's hard to beat. I want some of those. I want to take some of those back to the main yeah, lane. How much for the avocado? How much? Bye. Oh, look at the ginger. Oh, it looks so good. How are you, madam? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, Miss Patricia. We're Marvin. I'm Amber and Liberty. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. We have some wonderful food. Popsicles. Yes. The bottom, bless it up. Yes. Uh oh. I dropped it. This right here is like an ice cream, but it's like fruit based. This is mango. She has papaya, coconut. Oh. It's two dollars. Oh, oh you got sour sauce yeah. too? Yeah. Oh wow. What's this right here in the container right here? This one. This is um what's that? It's gonna be two dollars babe for that. I mean you happy to get some ice cream. Ice cream pop. Mango ice cream pop. You run away from the corona? Yeah. yeah we're <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I know. She said, she said we ran away, ran away from Corona. Yes. <laughs> Got tired of hearing about all that. Yeah, all day. Said, I was living in Philadelphia. Oh. So I had to run away too. Oh yes, ma'am. You must, you must save the money. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes thank definitely. You. Thank you. you. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. Yeah. Thank so you. Is it, not, is it all time? Is it any any? Meal? Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna pay $3 for your port fee. Once you bought the vessel at the time, you're gonna purchase your tickets. So we wanna take that, uh, I was saying, we wanna take the actual car on the ferry, right? Uh-huh. All right, so you were saying, we pay $3 and then how much now? You're gonna purchase your ticket. You're gonna purchase the ticket on the ferry. Purchase ticket on the ferry. You guys, this is super, super exciting. We are here now at the car ferry. Babe is reversing us right now. Red hook, red hook. Yes, um, and that, it looks like the ferry. Look, this might be the ferry. Look, let's see. Y'all see that? Man, I'm about to hit another rooster. Uh oh. I don't want to hit no rooster. Y'all, this is so exciting. Wow. See you. This is so cool. I was just telling Babe, we almost didn't come. Only because um, we were nervous about being able to find something to eat today is Thanksgiving. So I'm so glad we did it. It, it would have been cool like taking a boat ride actually over there, but to be on this ferry in the car, like this is such a cool experience um, that we can say that we did here in St. Thomas going over to St. John. Um, I'm really, really, really thankful um, that we're able to be here and able to do this. And it's like cool, it's a cool experience. Libby is just all excited about it. So, you know, we always bring up Lib in such a way about traveling with us because y'all, these are experiences that, like she'll just have countless, countless stories. She can write a book and, and more books just about all these things that we've been blessed to be able to do. Yeah. And we didn't let this pandemic, you know, keep us from, from doing it mm -hmm. and experiencing it. We had to do a heck of a lot of research, did, yeah. data, due diligence, all mm -hmm. of that stuff to make sure that we weren't putting ourselves in harm's way, mm -hmm. which we are not. You know, we live in a very fear-based society mm -hmm. and a lot of times um, ignorance causes inaction. So the fact that, you know, folks 
a lot of folks just won't do the research they won't look at specific places you know to see if it's safe to travel here or not you know now that we've done this we've kind of we're no longer uh, corona virus travel virgins <laughs> virgins on the That's virgin true. island yeah um now we're like okay where's the next place we can go to that we got to do a lot of research yeah. make sure it's safe so on and so forth because we're just not gonna we just we just can't live in a cave you gotta live your life it's at a certain point however exactly be diligent mm -hmm. be vigilant all of that stuff as it relates to this illness mm -hmm. um but do the research and you won't know until you know exactly so. and saying I'm that of course when everything first started we wasn't gonna be traveling or anything like that but we're saying now we've been now about nine months into this you know now we're like okay now that things have opened back up and things like that did we decide okay now let's see if it's a possibility and it just so happened that it was so all right let's get ready to mm -hmm. jump on the theory to us that we gotta make sure we're back at the <laughs> before 5 30. we might not even be here that long but uh thank you how much is it baby 50. okay thank you do i leave it on the air or keep it uh, i should just put it in your glove box and then you use it on the okay respect so uh it's 50 dollars round trip and um it's pretty dope Alright you guys, so we are here in uh, St. John. Yes, Cruise Bay you guys. Cruise Bay. Uh, we have to be back at our, uh, what you call it, in a few hours. Mm -hmm. So we found one restaurant but we're not sure it's open called Sundog Cafe. Mm -hmm. um, but we figured if we find somewhere, even if it's just Mexican, you know, we can turn get a veggie enchilada or something. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we're going to go ahead and give it a go you got anything you want to add Mom? no we're just happy to be here you guys just saw how cool it was coming on over here on the ferry that was a really cool experience we actually were kind of a little woozy yeah. <laughs> once we got out of the car and everything but um y'all we're about to go eat so we'll show you guys what we end up eating okay see y'all in a little bit All right, I'll be honest with you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I gotta buy you an island. Mm -hmm. I ain't working hard enough. Jesus. I gotta get the baby an island. <laughs> if somebody owns it, that means it can be owned. You mm -hmm. dig? Mm -hmm. But this is really dope. Mm -hmm. We were just, I was just saying, I don't ever want to get used to this kind of view. That means I don't really appreciate it like we appreciate it now. Mm -hmm. I gotta buy you an island. So we're pulling back in with our um, ferry. This is a really cool experience. I'm glad that we did the driving ferry versus yeah. um, taking a taxi and stuff around. It just would not have been, it would not have been the same. Exactly, and y'all, we went through Big Red Barge Company. Just to let you know, Big Red Barge Company. They did us really well. Yeah. It was a little nerve wracking having a reverse and almost hitting a car, but they did a real good job making sure, you know, that we got on here safe and sound. All right, so now we're going to try to find some coffee here. I haven't had traditional uh, Virgin Islands coffee. If there's anything specific to the area as well as some, possibly some gelato. So we'll check in back with you guys a little bit. Some call it the Nana. Oh. Some call it all kind of name. But I call it jelly, coconut jelly. Coconut jelly. Yeah. Back with the all natural say. coconut man. Yes. Get us some more food. Get us some more Happy coconut. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, sir. All right. You were showing us how to cut, how to carve the jelly. Take out the meat. jelly. Hold okay. this one. Oh, okay. Let me do the other one for okay, you. Okay, that's right. Look at that. Okay. So this, this one we're gonna do. Uh huh. Um, we're right here at Fort Millionaire Corner, and we're gonna take out the jelly out of the coconut. Some people call it the coconut meat. The Dominicans call it the Nana. <laughs> so we have a lot of names, but I know it as the jelly, okay? Yeah, yeah, man. This jelly is firm on one side more than the other. Why? Because 
the coconut sit like this on the tree this is the crown which is the top so you start to make the coconut from down here the okay. jelly up so this part make before up here so as you can see down here is thicker and up here is thinner so up here is the softer area which i'm going to start from and i'm going to work my way down to the bottom and you will see as i go down the coconut becomes more thicker so it's the art so, form so this is how it is yeah, man. this is how we give thanks on thanksgiving thanksgiving <laughs> give thanks love it and we did our coconut water in the bottle here okay. so that we can stay sustainable because this section is so firm i refuse to take this out this is the more softer part which right. we call the jelly yeah. and then this is a more firmer part of the coconut some people use it to make coconut punch or blend it up and do something with it so okay. right now because it's a little too firm yeah you know we could take like a harder spoon or something and take it out well, with but with this gun we can, we can take it with our hands good. okay love it man thank you now why the flies love the the coconut so how why they love it the sugar coconut is just special it's a little bit I have here. oh thank you oh this is some she, she, she thank you thank you madam have a fork. thank you madam <laughs> let me take this to a little one yeah, yeah. I don't know what it tastes like cold i've never had it cold like ice cream cold? well take the fork and try it cold some people like it cold okay we have a guy on it cold okay he like it cold all right let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's mm. a trick to it. When you're going to eat like that with a fork, you go up, up and come down. down. You can't drop. If you drop, you drop in your mouth. Your mouth. Oh. But if you come up like that, what they going to drop? Respect, respect. <laughs> so try it again and go up. Right. <laughs> and it come like hang down all in right, your mouth. All right, all right, all right. Mm. you see the trick? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Let me get this a little one. You cannot drop. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Give it a try. This is cold. Oh wow! Oh, try I it. have my liner in. I can't get it in there. Here, Libby, you try some. Try some, Lib. <laughs> I'm trying to pick one up for it. Try pumpkin. some, Lib. It does. Come on, baby. Try it. Try it. He said, Libby said it looks sloppy. <laughs> no, it's really tasty. Yeah. Tasty. It's not good. What do you think? What do you think? It's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll try some y'all in a little bit. I gotta take my liners out. Next time on Virgin Island Paradise. <laughs> I'm listening. This is amazing. Yeah. So previously right. on Virgin Island Paradise. So we have our big breakfast. Um, we have some potatoes. Look at this big. I mean, just amazing. Mm -hmm. Ice cream pop. I don't know. Mango ice cream pot. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. It's the last day here. So long, farewell, farewell of the saying, saying goodbye. 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 Look at Libby. So Good. We want y'all to see. Uh, let me catch the kitty. Thank you, man. I just want y'all to take a look at the hotel here. We didn't really do any shots of the uh, outer part. Mm -hmm. but this is the walkway. Libby's walking up the walkway. And check that out. Wow. Yeah, this is the beard, beard, uh, what is it? Blue Beard's Castle. It's some story behind it. We don't know, y'all. It's a beautiful resort. Um, and our villa, Hilltop Villa, y'all. That's the one y'all want to say it. That's where we stay. Very yeah. nice. You get you get the view of the ocean. Yeah. Hilltop Villas. And then it's the one up here. But yeah. um, when you call the hotel, They'll tell, just ask them which one gives you the ocean view. Uh -huh. And this one was a good price. Yeah, it was. Libby's ready to go. We're gonna finish out our trip here in, uh, at the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. So, that's exciting. It is exciting. Highest point here on St. Thomas. Uh -huh. You can apparently get it. Oh, there it is. 
You can apparently get a view of several islands. That's pretty dope. And now let's uh, get checked on out. Oh what? my goodness. Yeah. Look at that blue water. Look at all that blue water. We definitely have to come back here, babe. Y'all, we didn't get to take advantage of the pool or anything, honestly. I really just didn't want to. One day, babe went to go get us some food, by, which was a bar by the pool. And he was like, it was a lot of people there. So I'm like, mm-mm, yeah. we won't do that. So we'll Look. come back and take advantage once it's safer to do so. It kind of looks like the Santorini, <laughs> Greece pictures <laughs> I always see on Instagram. Yeah. Everybody take them. Yeah. That white here on that, on that blue background. Yeah. Pretty yeah. dope. It would be like, um, what? it would be fall, fallish winter time. Yeah, yeah it's but, 48. Ooh, so I don't know what that means. But it it's cold. Be, but it would be, um, in here, it would be like summertime. That's right. Yeah. Now that's the reason why we have more clothes on today because we're going, we got our sneakers on. Cause we're going back to the A, y'all, and it's cold. So we have our jackets and our luggage. Um, we decided not to bring big coats just because we didn't want to have all that extra stuff. But yeah, that's why we have sneakers and pants and I brought all dresses. So thankfully I brought this to put over another little dress that I ended up not wearing. So Libby, I brought her these pants. Babe got his jeans on. So we're ready to go back. Yep. Hilltop Villas at Bluebeard's Castle, y'all. This is where we stay. Hilltop Villas at Bluebeard's Castle. Amazing service, amazing view, amazing price. Darkness. We use um, We use a mixture of points. With Southwest. Southwest. And then um, we, I think we booked uh, Hotels.com. Yes, Hotels.com. Yeah. For, for the rest of it. So they had a really good rate when we uh, came by. All right, we'll uh, tap in once we get to Mountaintop. So y'all, we are on Mountaintop and my babe is doing the dang thing. Y'all, we are up so incredibly high, um, but it's gonna be so worth it. We're so excited to see the views of the whole island and to be able to share it with you guys. Look at my babe. Look at <laughs> Let daddy concentrate. Libby over here trolling big time. Talking about daddy, I knew you couldn't do it. <laughs> but we like, he's doing it. She being silly, y'all. So beautiful. How do you feel being here on the mountaintop? I feel furious. Furious? That means you're upset. Uh, I mean, excited. Excited. Mm, excited. Awesome. Did daddy do a good job getting us up here? There was a video on YouTube before we came to Virgin Islands that was, um, there was a car that was trying to drive up this mountain, but it broke down and it had to walk the rest of the way. Oh, goodness. Thank God we didn't have to. Yep. Okay. You ready, Mama? Yeah. Oh. All right. Show us how ready you are. I'm excitedly ready. <laughs> it was so cute. It was cute. Come on, let's keep going. And if I put it on, and if I put it on a boat, it on a boat, a boat, it would look even cuter. All right. Oh, baby, look at this map right here. Hmm. Captain Hook. So is it? Might be a, a, a silly question, but is it free to be here? Probably not. I think so. I I never saw a cost. I think you can, you know, they expect you to probably get stuff from here. They expect you to like get a, a, a drink or whatever. Okay. Cool. There's a gift shop. 
Wow. Yeah, I'm listening. This is amazing. Yeah. So right here, Hans Lalik uh, is over here. It's over there. Yeah. Then this is Threat K. Yeah. It's right here. Wow. Megan's Bay is right here. Wow. It, this camera isn't doing it justice, I'll be honest with you guys. Not at all. It's back, just amazing. Back here is Great Trabajo. That's a British Virgin Island. Then back way back there is Josh Van Dyke. Josh Van Dyke, British yeah. Virgin Island. I wonder if Little Tobago and Great Tobago, that's the same as the Trinidad and I know. Tobago. I yeah. Assume, so. I don't know. This is amazing. This is incredible. Liberty, come back, babe. Uh, May. Was it worth the drive, Yamba? That's debatable, <laughs> but it is beautiful out here. That was one scary drive, but yeah, it was worth it. Wow. This is incredible. Incredibly. Look at that. It looks unreal. Yeah, we we just we just taking in mm -hmm. everything right now. This is. It literally looks like a postcard yeah. out here. I mean, it is amazing, y'all. It is beautiful. And the cool thing is that there's not a lot of people here this morning because mm -hmm. we're here 1030. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not a lot of people out here. So we're really able to take it in. It's completely quiet up here. And um, it's amazing. Just God's glory. Yeah. Just amazing scenery here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Super, super excited to be here. Somebody got them an infinity pool point right at that water. Must be nice. I salute you. Absolutely incredible. 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 I can't roll that hard. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Piggy. Hi. Piggy says hi. <laughs> He said hi. All of this here, and she wants to play with the piggy. Hi, cutie. Hey, mommy. Mm -hmm. You shoot me, I shoot you. I'm shooting you, handsome. I shot my shot. I made it. <laughs> you did. All right. We're just going to hang out here a little bit longer, y'all, and then we're going to go grab breakfast. So, Liberty, in one word, other than excited, exciting or wonderful how would you describe our time here in the united states virgin island outstanding outstanding, Ooh, outstanding. that's I an like excellent that. word now explain more why would you um describe our trip as being outstanding number one it's because um well, the beaches, well, the only beach we've been to is amazing. And look back there, there there's some beautiful, beautiful sand. The sand even tickles your toes a bit. <laughs> and also, the food here is yummy, especially the um, places that look like a buffet, but they're, I don't think they're a buffet because of um, COVID-19. But the island is amazingly beautiful. What about the people? How would you describe the people here? Hmm. Friendly. Very friendly. Mm -hmm. Are they beautiful all about, too? Mm -hmm. And all about the culture. Yes, very nice. You have anything else you want to share? I love my pig. She says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liberty. Thank you, love. Uh -huh. I'm baby. They're right. Oh yeah, they just got that straight out the ocean. Straight out the ocean. Look, babe, here's more over here. Oh. Starfish. Let me see. Is it alive, man? No. All these shells. They didn't pull that straight from the ocean. Yeah. Straight out the ocean. We got all. We already got all. Oh, look, fresh oh, water pearl. Oh, that was pearl. definitely from the ocean. Yeah. Wait, what did you say? These look fresh water pearls. Look, mommy. Those yeah. came from the ocean, yeah. babe. All right, y'all, so we're going to try to find our, our last eating spot while here so we can bring our rental car back. Yeah. 
Mommy, is it looking like we're going to be heading back to Isa? We're going back to Isa, yeah. All the other places, we it's one that's actually on the mountaintop, but they um, this location is not open today. There's another location that opens at 6 this evening. Then there's another one. All they have is sandwiches. We don't want no sandwich. Um, <laughs> And then um, another one is closed. So yeah, we're back to Isaac. But you know what, we ain't upset about that. The food is delicious. So. Yeah, it is. Like I said, we are not leaving without a bag. <laughs> yeah, I usually get one when we travel different places. So this would be like our new beach bag, if you will. St. Thomas, I like it because it has a lot of storage inside, y'all. Has a little pocket here, it's wide open and it has this little storage too, yeah. How much you here for? This is $17, because it's $16.99. Got it. Oh, stop. Oh, 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 oh. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. <laughs> Flower. Oh, I got, yes, it is. I gotta get. I got to show you the baby. I got to show you better than I can tell you. Wow. Holy macaroni! Last but not least, vegan Philly. Vegan Philly. called culturally responsive clothing because we would look out into the marketplace and we would not see things that represented the things that were important to us yes. um, you know uh, designs that have a consciousness to it mm -hmm. um, designs that have a message mm -hmm. that's you know uh, unashamed from a faith standpoint yes. culturally responsive and if you want to support what we got going on um, you can click the link in the show notes of this podcast. Check out the designs. We designed it ourselves, mm -hmm. and um, we appreciate the support. And I'll